Hey, so in the last video we made the color and the size of these space objects be random. It's looking pretty, pretty close to what we want, but there's two last issues we're going to deal with. One, this planet here is fighting with the stars because the rotation and position of another plane, it's, it's making it flicker because they can't decide which one to show, whereas a planet should always be on top, like that stars, there should be a depth there, and also a galaxy, a swirly galaxy like that, should be also behind stars. So that's what we're going to do. So in object info, we're going to add one number, and we're going to call it depth. And this is going to be similar to the render depth, except, you know, because we, what we could do is something like we did before with our two cameras. So this main camera renders the, the world, like the level here, and the space camera only renders the background. So it draws space and then draws the world on top of it. We could make, you know, 10 different cameras, but that would be tedious and I don't think it would run very fast either. Instead, what we're going to do is if I pause this, so here's all of those objects around us. Let's say Hmm, it's actually going to be kind of hard to select the galaxy one here. Did I get the planet? I did. All right, so here's the planet. So the way this is going to work is if our player is here, I would like this planet to be closer to us like that, so that that's on top of everything. And if this were a galaxy, then I'm going to make it farther from us like that. So after adding the depth, we can now fill this in here. And what you're going to want to do is put stuff like a star, well, um, actually on the planet, say, there you go. So on planets, we want their depth to be, to be low, so zero is okay. But for any objects like a nebula that's farther away, I'm going to put that to depth 5, maybe depth 3, whatever. Galaxies are quite far away, so I'm going to go with 9 for galaxies. And the stars, the fill, they're just kind of far away. So we'll just go with 3. One thing you're going to have to watch out for, right now depth, so we set the distance to 10 naturally, and we're going to be adjusting this distance. So if I have an object that's at depth 10, it's going to be twice as far and actually four times less surface area. So you're going to have to work on the size a bit too with this. That's just a downside of this easy approach instead of all the layers, but you can still tweak all the numbers to get it right. So right now we have it distance 10 from the center from the player. And instead of 10, it's actually going to be 10 plus that depth. Okay, so save that. All right, and that's what we wanted. The planet is really huge, and it's in front of the stars, and the galaxy is behind other objects. And we're still getting a little bit of flickering, so actually we're going to add just a little bit of something from 0 to 0 0.5, so it's not enough to meaningfully change the depth ordering but each one will have just a little bit of padding, so nothing should ever really clash. There is one bug. Now if we look at this planet, I don't know if you can notice because it's subtle, but it's not circular. It's, it's kind of weird and oval looking. And if we pause the game and have a look at this planet, so this blue line should be pointing to the player, but it's not. It's pointing up somewhere. It's, we're not, it's not looking at the player. It should be looking more like that. that. That would make it circular, but because it's like this, it's sort of like an oval. Well, what is going on? And if this problem is even going to be more obvious. This is how I debugged it. Let's move the player way over here and press play again. Now it looks like I'm at like the edge of the universe or something. So if I pause it and go to my player, I, I am, I'm, I'm, I'm off by quite a bit. So it's not centering on the player properly. And here's why. This is our container at 000, and this is us, this is our player. 
at 0, 7, 0. And when we start the game, we're making all of these objects around 0, 0, 0 to look at. And then with our script, we're making it follow the player wherever the player goes. But at this stage, when we make these planes, they're not looking at 0, 0, 0. They're looking at the player. So this plane is looking up here. This plane is looking up here. This plane is looking up here. And this wasn't super pronounced because 0, 7, 0 is not much compared to our circle of size of radius 10. But it is a problem. And all we got to do is go in our code and the look at part shouldn't look at our player position, it should look at the zero vector, zero, zero, zero. Okay, so now that planet looks much better, looks circular. You don't even know it's a bug until you see it fixed.